Hello Pisces, this is going to be your January love reading. Happy New Year. Um, I hope you're doing well wherever you are. For this particular reading, we're going to do a cross for you and your lover. Or if you're single, maybe some messages will come through. Okay. If you need a personal reading from me, make sure you check out the website in the description. That is the best and only way to get in contact with me for a reading, okay? All right, so the first card out for you, Pisces, is the Queen of Cups. This is your energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, whether you're male or female. Some of you could also be dealing with a water sign and love as well, okay? So that's good to have your energy showing up, especially for the first of the year, right? So show me what's going on with Pisces and love, please, All right? So we have the Nine of Swords. It wanted to come out in reverse, so we'll leave it that way. Some of you are coming out of an energy with a lot of anxiety over a love situation, or this could be your partner. There's some clarity that's been gained. Someone's coming out of the, out of the energy of not being able to sleep or uh, just having overall anxiety about a situation. Three, six, two, one. So we have the seven of wands crossing. So this is your challenge. Your challenge is standing up for yourself, making a, cl a claim and sticking to it. St sticking to it is the best way to say that. I don't know what I was just saying, but anyway, making a claim, sticking to it, sticking to your gut, standing up for yourself. You may also even have to block an old energy that is no longer serving you as well. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, again, at the top of your reading. So some of you are definitely dealing with another water sign um, or an energy very similar to yourself, okay? Some of you have a goal with another water sign this month, whether that be blocking this water sign and moving on or moving into a new relationship with them. You have the Strength card, Leo has shown up. Some of you are being held back in a situation with the water sign or you're just being held back in general because you um, are holding your back holding back your feelings towards someone or someone is holding their feelings back towards you okay there's just like blockages i'm kind of feeling all right to the relationship you have the sun card so leo is here again but this is in the past okay so someone positive may have came into your life or there may have been a positive shift in your life that makes you um either want to unblock someone or clear blockages you may have with someone or put someone in the past and move forward with someone else in the future that it's more positive with okay we have the Magician card, so Aries is here. But again, this is someone manifesting um, a new beginning, okay? This could be you getting things in order, okay? This could also be someone who's slightly narcissistic. Um, could be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio that may not tell the truth, okay? Or may be manipulating the situation in some way. And that could be what's causing blockages if someone's not being authentic to the relationship, okay? We have the Two of Pentacles as the mutual energy. So I feel like between you and your partner, Pisces, and maybe your partner that's dealing with two different people, two different energies, or it's you that's dealing with two different energies. It could be both of you, okay? I'm getting a lot of you that there's like a lack of serious commitment between you and this person. So it could be someone that you're moving into a relationship with, but you both have other people that you need to cut things off with, okay? Some of you are stuck between two water signs, okay? We have the world card, so your partner is going through some type of transition energy, okay? This could also be you going through some, uh, some sort of transition. Some of you are choosing between jobs or you're getting promoted to another job, okay? Something is ending in order for you to move forward. We have the fool card, so you're hoping for a new beginning, hoping to be able to start fresh, okay? Someone also may be, may be fearing the new beginning, especially if it's an Aries, okay? Someone may be having... Um, doubts and fears about moving forward in a more riskier way because it's more of an unknown way it could be just a new fresh relationship altogether and then we have the five of pentacles and the outcome so someone is getting left out in the cold here uh, with the seven of wands i feel like you're blocking an older energy okay some of you are dealing with a, an immature water sign pisces cancer scorpio or you're just not emotionally invested in a situation pisces or you could be dealing with someone who's not emotionally invested therefore you're going to wind up blocking them out Okay, so the Six of Wands is clarifying the Seven of Wands. I feel like if you have, um, yeah, a lot of you may need to block out someone else. It's an older energy so that you can move forward with the Ten of Cups. Or some of you may be needing to end a committed relationship with the Water Sign so that you can move forward with an Aries or uh, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, or Leo. Why is this Five of Pentacles here for Pisces? All right. 
So we have the Four of Pentacles, the Three of Swords, and the Wheel of Fortune. So yeah, it's something you've been holding on to. I feel like a lot of you, there's been, it's, I'm getting Scorpio or Cancer, but whoever it is, uh, either they're holding on to a relationship that needs to end or you are, okay? But this is a faded situation that the um, universe is going to push this ending okay it's going to push you into a situation where you have to either stand up for yourself or block someone i feel like blocking out an older energy that's no longer serving you and moving towards a more positive one will be the most beneficial for you okay um let's see why this magician's in the future i do feel like some of you may be getting blocked out by someone as well take this as a blessing because maybe you weren't strong enough to end things with this person, but they ended it with you. So that way you, you can just, you know, move forward. It's someone made that may be flaky as well. Yeah, two of wands. You're dealing with someone who's stuck between two people for some of you. Okay, this is going to continue on for some of you into February. Okay, um... You, it's either you, Pisces, or someone you're dealing with is stuck between two people or two paths, okay? Some of you between two jobs, okay? Um, I feel as though for some of you, you may be, like, getting let go from a job, okay? Or you may be leaving a job with the Five of Pentacles. It may be rough, but I feel like it's a positive thing either way, okay? Some of you are de already dealing with maybe unemployment. That's why you're feeling... Um, that ending okay Let's see why what does the six of wands lead to but i mean i feel like you're going to be triumphant with the six of wands it's just um okay <sighs> seven of clubs flew on out so you will have new possibilities now that you've blocked this person out i do feel like for some of you an offer will come to the forefront from a um water sign again some of you may also be ending things with a water sign though but whatever this ending is or this blocking out of another person, it's like it's it's finally coming to an end. Because with the Nine of Swords in reverse, reverse, I feel like this was a situation that was kind of causing you a lot of grief. Yeah, some of y'all are dealing with the two different energies, a Leo and a water sign or uh, any of those signs that I've named already used to general. So some painful things that I think that you've been kind of avoiding for a while. Um... A lot of you have not been able to go for force with a particular person because of some baggage. The baggage is being cleared away this month. It's going to be painful, okay? Some of you may get blocked without reason and not know why. Some of you, they, they, you may block them suddenly, okay? Your challenge is the Seven of Wands. Is just someone getting blocked or defending yourself in a situation, sticking to your guns in a situation, okay? Especially if it's with someone who's flaky, okay? Um, if you are in a situation where someone is choosing between you and this person, they may be choosing the other person this month. Yes, it's going to suck, but I feel like you'll be able to move away from this magician person, this person who doesn't know what it is that the, they want, or they pop in and out of your life and they disappear for a while. Whatever it is, spirit is calling you to let it go with the three of swords and the four of pentacles, okay? So that you can bring on this new opportunities or opportunities with the six of wands and the seven of cups, okay? Um, yeah, I, I, I know I keep saying water sign, but I see it here a lot, okay? Um, but don't be afraid of this growth, Pisces. I, I think that it's, it's, it's beneficial for you with the Six of Wands and Seven of Cups. It's something that's been needing to happen for a while. And I think you've already met a positive person with the Sun card here. I think you've just been stalling them because of this, uh, older person, this water sign or this Leo or... Whoever the sign is, you're, I think this person's going to wind up blocking you because either they can't get what they want from you anymore, they can't manipulate you, or um, you block them. But whatever it is, don't take it hard, too hard, because I think the Wheel of Fortune definitely says that things are better for you after this heartbreak or after this separation, this ending. Okay, some of you is a job, okay? You've been... Uh, you know, either laid off, you've been let go of a job and you're worried about that, you're concerned because finances aren't are looking bleak. But I think that this was the best thing for you with the Wheel of Fortune, especially if you're looking for some type of like financial relief or growth in finances this month, okay? So um, happy early birthday to you, Pisces, okay? I won't be doing any personals in February. Um, I might upload to the channel, I'm not really sure yet. So I, just in case I don't get to say happy birthday to you guys, 
um, happy birthday. This looks really good for those who are really wanting to move forward with their life, who really, really want to like let go of old things. And I'm not saying that you don't have a, a connection with this person from the past or this old job or, you know, this old neighborhood that you're having a hard time leaving, but it's time, okay? And things are going to get way better for you after this month, okay? After this final cycle that you've been going through. And it, it may get nasty with the Seven of Wands, okay? And maybe something that you really have to fight to get to, even emotionally, I'm feeling, or just passionately, um... But there's someone you're already like feeling you're just holding back from them or they're holding back from you this could very well be your partner that has to block someone who's um they're having a hard time letting go or this other person's having a hard time letting them go okay so uh i hope that this you take this opportunity to move in a more positive direction this month because it's, it's definitely here for you it's time to come out of that nine of swords energies pisces it's time to come out of that um uh, sadness, that uh, anxiety, the sleepless nights. A lot of you, though, um, there may be someone that you're looking to reconcile with, okay? Um, and they may have blocked you or you're blocking them. I don't think this is a good time for you to reconcile with this person. Unless it's a situation where you're leaving an old partner and you're reconciling with someone from the past. That's the only time I see reconciliation working, okay? If there's someone that you've already blocked or they've blocked you, I'd keep it pushing, okay? Unless those um, other circumstances apply to you. I just wanted to put that out there, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and shut down the video. I hope you guys enjoy your new year. And again, please leave a comment if it resonated. If not, I'd love to hear from you anyway, okay? Bye, Pisces.